Hello everyone, this is Jordan from PineExcel.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart in Excel with dynamic colors and a dynamic target line. In this example you can see that we have a chart showing monthly sales volumes. All months that didn't reach the target line are colored in red and all above the target are green. The target value itself is dynamic and based on the average value of all monthly sales volumes. This chart can be very useful in presenting data since it is engaging and makes understanding the data very intuitive. It can also be updated very easily once it is set up. In fact, we have used a variation of it in our own KPI dashboard template, which can be purchased on our website, pinexile.com. So how can we create this chart? Let's start with our data. The data can of course be different from the one we have here. You can show for example product sales volumes or team member performance instead of monthly performance. First, we format the data as a table. This will make the calculations easier and we automate future data updates. Next, we will add and calculate the target. In this case, it is going to be the average number of sales for the whole period. Then we add the calculation for the length of the target line. This will allow the line length to automatically update when we add new data. The formula counts the number of periods minus 1, so that the line is not out of range. Next we add a new column. Here we want to display all sales that are above the target. Don't forget to fix the target value. Since our data is formatted as a table, the whole column is populated automatically when we hit enter. Now we have two separate data series, sales and above target. We could create an additional column specifically for the sales below target. However, for simplicity, we will proceed only with the two series. It is now time to add the chart. Click on the table and go to insert, charts and add a 2D column chart. Next. Double click on one of the above target bars. This will open the format data series menu. Make sure to select the entire series, not only a single bar. Set series overlap and gap width to 100%. Select the table and go to select data. Then add a new entry. For series name, select the target name. For series values, select the target value. And click OK. Next, right click on the chart and go to Change Chart Type. Go to Combo and set the target series to XY Scatter. Now we have some work to do in order to format the target as a line. If the bars become detached, just double click one and in the format data series menu set series overlap again to 100%. Now select the target data point. Go to design, add chart element, error bars and select more error bars options. This will open the Format Error Bars menu. Now click on the Horizontal Error Bar and go to Custom, Specify Value. Set Positive Error Value to the Length Value and Negative Error Value to 0.
Next, click on the target data point. Go to Series Options, Marker, Marker Options and select None. This will remove the data point and leave only the target line. Click on the error bar and go to error bar options. Set end style to no cap in order to remove the small cap lines in both ends of the line. If the vertical error bar is shown, click on it and just delete it. Now, go to color and set the target line to the preferred color, in this case amber. You can also change the line style and width. Select the chart, go to Chart Elements and add data labels. Double click on one of the zeros to open the Format Data Labels menu. Go to Number and set Category to Custom. In Format Code, type Hash and double quotation marks. Click Add. This will remove the zero labels. Next, select the rest of the labels, go to Label Position and set them to Inside Base. Delete the rest of the labels. Select the data series above the target line, go to Series Options and change the color to green. For the bars below the lines, change the color to red. For clarity, delete the horizontal axis and the grid lines. Delete also the target data label. In the legend, select the target and press delete. We can also change the name of the sales column to above target, in order to update the legend. Now we can also update the chart title. In order to show the dynamic target value in the chart, we must make a calculation in a new cell. There we will add the target name and value cells. Now, create a text box and in the formula bar, set it equal to the new cell. To remove the border, go to Format Shape Outline and select No Outline. Our dynamic chart is ready. As you can see, the colors of the bars and the target line are automatically updated whenever the data in the chart is changed. You can download this chart along with instructions from our website for free by using the coupon from the description. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Also, make sure you visit our channel and website for more dynamic charts and templates. This was Jordan from PineXL.com. Thank you very much for watching.